In this video, we're gonna discuss the pros and cons of selling products on your Canva website. I'm Sammy, here with Digi, and we help people just like you share hope, healing, and light online. While we'll be discussing the pros and cons of selling products on a Canva website, I wanna note that this is different than our very popular pros and cons of Canva websites video, which you can find linked above and below. We've done those videos every year for a couple of years, and we're gonna be redoing that one soon, so definitely subscribe if you're interested in checking out the updated pros and cons for just Canva websites in general. All right, let's start with the bad news first. We're gonna talk about the cons of of selling products on a Canva website. First con, SEO, search engine optimization. As we've discussed in this video above, Canva SEO does indeed exist. That being said, it's not the most intricate of search engine optimization options. If your main goal is to sell products, then you're probably gonna want a marketing strategy that doesn't just rely on Canva website SEO should you decide to use Canva websites for selling your products. Think email, think social media campaigns. There's a lot of options out there for marketing, but SEO is not going to be a big winner for you if you sell your products on a Canva website. Unfortunately, that's the first con. Con number two, this is a big one, the lack of direct integrated payments in Canva websites. What does this mean? If you were paying attention to our previous video, which I will link above, we have demonstrated this before. You have to configure both Stripe and Canva to sell digital products on Canva. Now you can use a different payment processor, of course, but Stripe is our payment processor of choice. We gotta use some kind of payment processor and you connect that with Canva. And so you're working with two different platforms, two different software, it works. It's not the most challenging situation you're gonna face, but it does involve jumping through some more hoops than another website option might that can directly integrate the payments all in one space. So it's a little bit more work for you, the seller, trying to set things up. And it might be a little bit more of a clunky process for the buyer or the client who is trying to purchase something from you. They're dealing with two different systems rather than just one. It's a con. And we've got one more con for you for selling products on a Canva website, and that is platform dependency. When you rely solely on Canva for selling digital products, you are dependent on that platform's policies, changes, potential disruptions down the road. Your best bet is to diversify, so sell on e eBay and Amazon and Canva websites if you want to. If you're not hosting your own website and you're going to rely on another platform like Canva, you want to diversify. So sell on Canva, sure, but sell on Etsy and eBay and Amazon. Because yes, these platforms are all out of your control, but you have multiple platforms out of your control rather than just, you know, putting all of your eggs in one basket. I think that's the phrase. I almost said chickens. You want multiple sales channels just as you might want multiple streams of income. Yeah, eggs in a basket. I like that. Speaking of multiple channels, there are multiple avenues to use Canva, as you probably know if you're in the platform whatsoever. It's a fantastic tool for nonprofits and businesses and creators and communities. And if you decide to use Canva for your social media in any way, like we have done in the past and recommended to countless people, we would also highly recommend to you another tool, later.com, which is a scheduling tool to help you batch schedule that social media content. It's so helpful for getting ahead for the week, for the month. You can set it and forget it if you want and be totally ahead of the game and we do have a free trial affiliate link below for 14 days so if you want to check it out get in there and just schedule as much content as you can and get out that's all fine enjoy it for free we use it regularly and we'd love to know what you think about it if you give it a try but we're done with the bad news and we're gonna get to the good news the pros of using a canva website to sell your products first pro ease of use canva is user friendly. It's easy. It's actually kind of fun. It's just like how they make it really easy to design social media posts. It's the same thing on a Canva website as far as selling your products. So you can really get creative with it and it's fun and it's not too complicated. You're not learning a whole new system. That is definitely a pro, especially for sellers trying to create attractive listings online. Pro number two, integration with Canva elements. You get to use all the good stuff that's already in Canva. You get to use all their elements, all their templates, and you can use their design tools to enhance your digital products and create appealing visuals for all who come across it. We love Canva. Is it we stand with Canva? We stand by Canva? And pro number three, last but not least, the cost. As you know, if you've followed along here at all, which by the way, if you're enjoying this video, if it's helpful for you, subscribe please, because we make lots of Canva videos and we'd love to help you out. But we're big fans of Canva websites, big fans of Canva. You might have to pay for your Canva website, depends how you have it set up. Check our other videos out for more information on that. But you also have to pay some small fees for Stripe if you use Stripe as a payment processor. Pretty much any third party payment system is going to have some kind of fee attached. As of this time, these fees are very minimal. It's just a small percentage and a very small, like a couple of cents fee on every successful charge that you make. Successful charges on domestic cards, not every option is going to be that way. For example, in comparison, Etsy will charge you 20 cents 
per listing. Not even if you sell anything, you don't have to sell a thing and Etsy's still gonna charge you for that. But with the Stripe and Canva model, the fees are based on what you sell. So it's deducted from the total sale price, which is very small and I think it's extremely worth it. Highly would recommend it. If you need more Canva help, I know there are a lot of things to ask about. Our training hub is the best place to get your questions answered because that's who we prioritize with our time. We give you personalized either email responses or video responses if we need to walk through something. And there are monthly and annual options so you can just jump in for a month, get the help you need and get out. Totally fine, that's what we're here for. It is a complete digital communications hub so if you have questions beyond Canva, we're there for you on that as far as social media, email, websites in general. And we already have courses, we already have downloadables, we already have training videos from other people's questions, webinars, trainings. There's just so much already in the hub but the ask a question feature is huge and we know y'all have a lot of Canva questions. So please join the hub for as little or as long as you need when you need us. And if you don't think you need more Canva help but you have some knowledge to share, any kind of digital communications knowledge to share, you can actually apply below to be a hub creator and create content for the hub and get a commission on every single person that you bring into the hub with your link. And this is really nice if you have a Canva website because we will do all of the hosting. Like you don't have to worry about putting your sales video up and taking payment and all that stuff. We do it and we pay you. This is a new offer in 2024 and so we will be accepting our applicants for creators slowly as we go through them all but we would love to have you in the mix to train other people. As I said at the beginning we're especially focused on helping people share hope, healing, and light online. So if you want to help other people do that, apply below. And of course, if this was helpful, give us a subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.